Hello, I'm Douglas J. Webster. This is my piece, Encore, and you're watching The Artist Avenue, where art lives. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning into The Artist Avenue. I'm Ron Black, your host, and we're with uh, painter, do any sculpting, Doug, or just no, painting? I well, I don't do any sculpting, no. Okay, okay, so we're here with uh, Douglas J. Webster, uh, painter, uh, and this is his uh, piece, Encore which uh, he just won an award. Uh, Douglas, tell us about the award. The award is through the uh, Three Rivers Art Festival. And out of 51 artists, they picked several artists for to be in the show, the jurors pick. And this piece was chosen um, as one of the jurors, Mr. Um, Lears. He is the curator of photography at Carnegie Museum of Art. And he chose my piece, and I was um, really ecstatic and excited, you know, that he had chosen my piece. And it's um, really a, um, you know, I'm humbled, and I am um, um, grateful, you know, that this, 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 what I do here is, I didn't go to school. It's God gave me this ability, and I just create. And so um, he picked, he chose my piece. Mm, fantastic. I mean, it is a beautiful piece. I, you sent it to me in a text. Yes. And I said, wow, that's, that's nice. But in person, folks, <laughs> is, it is amazing. Thank uh, you. This, uh, this talent skipped me. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't. I'm still a stick figure. You know, so. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's a beautiful piece. So what, what inspired you to draw or paint Encore? Well, I always listen to music and um, music gives me visions. I see an image in the music or through a word or a conversation. So I'm just listening to this, this um, violin piece and I love violin because it's soothing, it relaxes. And so I'm just closing my eyes and I'm at a place and I hear the word encore. I said, oh, encore. And so then I got an image of a little girl. And so what I did, I searched the um, Google search and everything and saw different images. And so what I did, I clipped different pieces and I put my composition together on my computer. And then I saw what I wanted to do. And Encore represents a innocence of a young girl standing in front of an audience, you would say, at school for her recital. And so Encore represents that innocence, that fear-like, but also the boldness to go ahead and do something. As children, um, they have a, a well, how can you say it, an unrestrained boldness to do things. And so Encore inspired me through just that. Um, being at an innocence, I wanted to portray that. And so you can see here, uh, her toes are inward. You know, so that's depicting a shyness, okay? And the color orange is my favorite color. And it represents, orange represents power and peace at the same time. And so I grew up in a musical family. I play a trumpet. Um, my father played the guitar. My uncle played the keyboards. And my other uncle played the saxophone. And then just growing up in that era, the 60s and whatnot, um, jazz, Miles, and all those musicians that was coming up. And so music is ingrained in me. And so I wanted to depict something where Encore, Encore, she just got finished playing her recital piece. And then the Encore comes and she's like looking and people want her to continue. And so you see the expression on her face like, are you for real? Are you serious? I don't think so. <laughs> that is not going to happen. You know? <laughs> and, so, and so the butterflies represent, um, you, you've heard that, that terminology used where I got the butterflies. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, representing fear mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, you don't want to go forward. You know, you're hesitant. So the butterflies can cause us to be still or freeze us in our place. But also the butterflies can um, produce beauty. 
It can cause us to either succeed or fail at something. So I wanted to depict that. And the butterflies represent something beautiful that just has happened. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when, when you zoom in on that, you can see that the butterflies are not drawn on the board. I drew them separately and then I cut them out and then I placed them to give that 3D effect. Mm -hmm. Along with the, the sheet music, I wanted something that would stand out right. from the board that would just give it more depth to the art piece. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, um, what about the stand? The stand is not, it's painted on, right? Yes, the stand is painted on and I wanted something that a wooden stand, not like a metal stand. I wanted some a stand that uh, depict like an era, you know, not a modern, not nothing new, but something that represents a ruggedness, you know, mm -hmm. and details. I love I love doing details, and so with the music stand, I wanted this. The the um, what would you call it? The board or the stand to hold the artwork. I wanted that to have some nicks and dings in it, you know, some scratches and scuffed up and everything. And so that's where you would see these marks. That's done deliberately because I didn't want it to look fresh and brand new, okay? With the musical notes behind her, she's, when <clears throat> it is like all these, she has to concentrate on the music instead of the glare of the audience and for her to get through this. And so I wanted that to depict, that would be her main focus at the moment. She's doing this music. And so I wanted to do, do that and do something different, you know, to bring the death out. So you have this, um, I, I work with soft pastels on suede board. And so what I did, I took my pastels and I have a, a razor and I just shaved some of this onto the board and I pressed it with my hands. And so that's where you get that that look. Mm. I think I said, folks, in, in person, it's it's absolutely amazing. Uh, so is this uh, is this piece going to go up for sale or? Right now, right now it's not for sale because I'm working on a series. So this is encore. The next one going to come from that is going to be children and musical instruments. So that's all going to be a group. I want to do maybe a group of five or seven. Mm -hmm. And I do have a prints that I make to clay prints, limited editions. Mm -hmm. And so I'll be selling prints of the work. Oh, okay. Great, great, great. So where can we find your artwork? You can find my artwork on Douglas J Artists uh, at Instagram. Okay. So right now I'm building my website. I don't have that up yet. But you can find my work on Instagram. Mm, okay, absolutely. Uh, Douglas, um, thank you. Uh, absolutely it's an honor man to to have an artist like yourself uh just just right there. this is the first no this is the second time i've seen his work uh the first time it was like wow it was a long time it was like about 10 years mm -hmm. uh, ago and uh you were going into the benedum for a show yes, yes. and i uh, stopped you because I, I i we met at the pittsburgh playwrights you were there for a shoot Mm -hmm. on a Saturday. Right. I, I remember all that stuff. My yeah. girlfriend teases me about how you remember all that stuff. Right? <laughs> so, but yeah, it was a Saturday. I saw you going in uh, and I, saw, I said, oh man, what are you, what's in here? And you said, oh, it's an art show. And then, you know, you told oh, I'm an artist. And you showed me it was a piece. I was like, wow, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, and I was telling my ex-girlfriend <laughs> <laughs> about, I was like, when the first time I, I saw Douglas's work, I was like, I was like so blown away. Um, you know, just the, the depth of it, mm -hmm. you know, how deep it was, uh, just like, you know, this piece, this, you know, like encore is, uh, just, you know, because I, I remember, you know, good art, nice right. art. Right. Uh, because our relative, my sister, your cousin Gwen, yes. is, is a painter too. Yes. So I grew up, you know, <laughs> in, in her room right. when she wasn't there. Uh, <laughs> I, I was in her room when she wasn't there and I was looking at all her sketches and everything else. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, you know, I wish I could, you know, do this, you know. Right. Uh, but like I said, it escaped me. <laughs> so, and, 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 and that's okay, you know. Um, but yeah, man, thank you again for appearing on Artist Avenue. Absolutely. And, and um, also, you can reach me at douglasj711 at gmail.
And if you want any information, anything, you can also contact me there. Okay, fantastic. Yes. Again, thank you, sir. Absolutely. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Douglas J. Webster, painter extraordinaire, as you can see, encore. Uh, and we will uh, speak with him again soon. All right. Hello, folks. This is Ron Black, creator, producer, director, and writer of The Artist Avenue. Hope you enjoyed today's show featuring Douglas J. Webster, uh, painter, of course, painter of that beautiful, awesome piece we saw today, Encore, which won an award. I uh, can't wait until he finishes the series. Uh, it's, it's just going to be an awesome time. Uh, but we need you, the other artists, you, to come on to this show and discuss with the world what you do as a director, writer, actor, dancer, sculptor, whatever you do, however you do it. But uh, do it on the Artist Avenue or where art lives. You can reach me at rb65623 at yahoo.com. That's rb65623 at yahoo.com. And we will see you very soon. Peace. God bless.